Hello, once again, thank you for watching. This is Robin from City Sewing in New York, www.citysewing.com. Here I have a Singer Machine 20U. I'm just gonna show you the basics. You know, it's a pretty good machine. This is a world-made uh, machine. It's one of the best um, Singer ever made. Um, the Singer 20U, it varies from 20U to 153, 103, 83. You all have different um, numbers at the end, meaning the width of the zigzag changes depending on the number. The 83 I like the best because it gave you over half inch size. The other one, it gets too big. Once you pass the 83, then it gets too big. The zigzag and a lot of people start giving me complaints about the needle when it goes too wide. So I think with a half inch zigzag, if you're not making anything special in zigzag, this is gonna be a perfect machine for you. Singer 20U83. Okay, now I'm gonna start by threading this machine the correct way. I'm gonna show you how you thread it. You take your thread from the top, take it from the bottom, just like that. Then you come around again from the top into this uh, thread guide right over here. Very important, you come to the top, then all the way from the top to the bottom again. Holding the thread from the top, what you're gonna do, just gonna go right around the tension, just like that. Hook it into that hook that you see over there because you need that to work like this. When you're stitching, this is very important. Very, very important to have that stitch like that. See, you wanna have that stitching like this. You wanna make sure that you see this part moving just like that. It needs to do that for you to get a good tension on the machine. Once you have that in the back here, that pin, then you're gonna come back again and go back into this hook over here. So you come down, down, around the hook, around into the check spring. This is called the check spring right here. Like I said, it needs to work like that. Behind that pin and then like this. From here, we're gonna go into the um, thread take up. It's this part here that show you that goes up and down when you're working. This is, this is very, very important. If you don't thread it there, the machine never gonna work. From here, you're gonna go into your eyelet. In here, it's very important to thread it right over here also. And remember, this machine you thread it front to back, just like that, you have it threaded. Once you have it threaded, you can lift up the foot, put your thread on the needle of the presser foot. Just take your fabric, put it in there. And it like that. See, very nice. Lift up the foot, check the stitches on the back. Very nice. Now that we have finished threading up the machine, I have a few buttons I wanna show you right over here. It's actually your bobbin mind detention. So, you know, you take a second thread, just come back here. I have more videos for that too come around into your bobbin winder. When you activate your bobbin winder, it will start winding right over here. So you come around into the thread, put it into the bobbin winder, activate it. And while you're sewing, this is gonna be winding the bobbin right over here. In here, we have these two buttons, one and two buttons. I'm gonna explain you now what is the main purpose of these two buttons right over here. You have one on the right, you have one on the left. You have this center piece here. This is called the stitch with level set. So this is what makes the zigzag big or small or straight. In here, we have another button. This is to, for you to actually either center the needle, have the needle on the right, or have the needle on the left. So this machine, you could do that. You could move the machine to have it further right. You could have it in the center, or you could have the needle on the left. So when I moved it to the left, the needle moved. As you can see how the needle is moving, sometimes you wanna have the needle right in the center. You wanna have it on the left or on the right. In here, this is your stitch regulator. That's how far the stitches are one from another. So when you're working, you know, basically this machine most of the time works, most of the sewing machines works between number two and number three, two and a half. That, if you calculate it, it's about 12 stitches per inch. So you get 12 stitches and put it into an inch. That's what number two and a half means. About 2.5 or 2.67, you gave you about 12 stitches per inch. So. This is more, mostly what people recommend to use, two and a half to three. Now, these two buttons, you're gonna keep them loose. You don't wanna tighten it. You know, you don't wanna use a wrench or anything. So what this is good for is when, when you wanna make this, when these buttons are loose, your machine is gonna give you a straight stitch, as you can see right now. The needle is moving perfectly straight up and down. Now, if I take this level and I move it to here, you have a center line, and then you have different numbers here. It depends how wide you want the zigzag. When you get the zigzag that you want to do, what you want to do is you want to tighten up those two screws and that, that's going to be holding this level. It's going to keep it on the side. So now I'm going to start stitching and you can see now how the needle is moving. See? Needle is moving left to right. 
because I set it up for that specifically measurement. Now, if I hold this and I lose the screws and I make this more wide and I tighten it again, as you can see, my stitches are gonna be much wider. See how much wide the needle is moving now? Take a look at that, how wide the needle is moving, you see? And I keep going up, up as much as you want because you know, the more you lose here and you bring this all the way to the end, then the machine is gonna give you about half inch zigzag. So you can see right now how wide the stitches are going. You see how wide? So this is what these screws are. So what you wanna do is if you wanna go back to straight, you just loosen the screws, let the level go back to the center, and then you get your stitches back to the center again. That's how you make your zigzag go back straight again when you want that. Now in here, this is just your stitch length. So the dial, if you want to move, you just got to move it, you know. Usually I recommend to push this down when you're going to move the dial. And the reason why is because these needles, these stitch dial, it has a pin in the back that locks it. It locks it. You hear that click, click? It's a little lock. So you want to press this down. You're actually releasing the pin so this moves easy and doesn't hurt the thing on the back, okay? So this is just for the stitch length, how far the stitches are one from the other, okay? You change it right over here. Like I said before, this is just, if you want to take these and you move it to the right, you see how the needle is always going to be in the right for you. It's always going to be in the right. See, then if you move this one to the center, your needle is in the center. If you move this to the right, your needle is always going to be in the right. So this is what is called important, important for you. This is your needle position. Now the machine is sitting on the center of the needle, foot bar, everything's right on the center, right over here. This is your reverse, first back and reverse. That's how you do the reverse. Um, with this machine, it's very important that these screws, like I said, you're going to keep it loose, but you don't want to keep it so loose that it's going to come out. So you just touch it a little bit, leave it there. You know, they're not going to do anything. They're not going to hurt anything. If you need to move these, like I said, you loose it up, move the zigzag, how wide you wanted it. Once you finish with it, you close, tighten it back again with your hand. Never use it, uh, um, any kind of a tools because there's two slats on the back where you're just putting a little bit of pressure and holding it together. So that keeps the zigzag up and down for you. Um, I think we just uh, cover the basics of the single 20U machine. Um, very simple machine to use, very nice machine. Comes with a nice table, has a speed control servo motor on it. Here we have what is just to put more pressure on the foot. But you could just leave that about an inch high, this should be fine. Um, and you know, that is it. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, this is Robin from City Sewing New York, www.citysewing.com. Subscribe if you like the videos. Thank you for watching again, bye-bye.